Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to find out Z value. Now before we go on and find out Z value, let us see what all information is given over here. If you have a look at this figure, this figure is of this kind. It is a bell shaped curve with a central value of X bar or mu or whatever. It is the central value or the average value we are considering. Okay. And then there is a line over here and this is the shaded portion. The shaded portion tells me that whatever values we have over here, all these values that we have over here are this. This shaded portion is the area of these values. Fine. So, what is this area? This shaded portion. Now, when we go for tests, hypothesis testing, the question is given in somewhat this kind of fashion. Let us create certain questions. Your question could be, uh, we'll create certain questions. First question, it could be, let's say, one tailed. and alpha is equal to 5 percent n is irrelevant over here in z test n is only relevant degrees of freedom are only relevant in t test here we do not consider them then it could be a two tailed alpha being 5 percent for practice sake we'll take one tailed alpha being 10 percent for practice sake we'll again take two tailed with alpha being 10 percent and last one we'll take one tailed let's say alpha being 2.5 percent okay so we'll learn with these questions how do we go about it now let me take my first question. What is the first question? It is one tailed. So we have a rejection region only in one tail. Now try and understand the areas given here are for this area. Understanding? Just now I made the graph and I told you that the areas given in the table are for these areas, this section. But now when you are in hypothesis testing, you are not concerned about this area, rather you are concerned with this rejection area. So it is this area. So you are interested in finding out this area. When you say it is one tailed 5%, so you'll have only be having one tail, and this rejection area will be containing 5% of the area. Now as this contains 5% of the area, how much will be this area? This will be 45% area. We very well know this is 50% area on either side. You have 50% on either sides. So if you are taking one tailed 5%, one tailed, only one tail, and 5%. So one tail 5% actually means that you are working with area of 45%. 45% what does 45% mean 45% or 0 0.45 so you need to go up and check in this area where you can find value of 0 0.45 45% see I am solving 1% oh sorry I am solving 1 tailed 5% 1 tailed 5% but I am actually checking value of 45% so 45%, where is 45%? Here it is. Here we see 45%. It is somewhere between these two. It will be lying somewhere over here. So what is value of 0.4495? It will be 0.4495. Is this 1.6? Is it 1.6 or not? 1.6. Here it is 
what is value of 0 0.45 05 it is 1.6 and here it will climb to 1.65 so what i'll do is i'll take average because my value is stuck between 2 which two? 1.64 and 1.65. My value is stuck between them. So I'll take average. So my Z comes as 1.64 plus 1.65 upon 2 giving me 1.645. Fine. Are we done with first question? Let us jump on to our second question. What is second question? It is 2 tailed alpha 5%. Forget what we did in first question. Just look over here. Two tailed, first things first, and two tails. Two tailed, and then it is 5%. So, two tailed 5%, this complete, these two tails will be 5%. So, one tail will be how much? 2.5%. How much? 2.5%. Now, forget what is happening on this side. We will talk of only R half, this half, this 50%. If this is 2.5%, how much will this be? This will be 47.5% or 0 0.475. Will that be the case or not? Yes. If this is 2.5%, this will be 0.475. So let me go ahead and check where is 0 0.475 where is 0 0.475 0 0.475 yes incidentally we have a complete 0 0.475 that we were looking for what is the corresponding value we get 1.9 here we have 6 1.96 so what is the z value it is 1.96 Fine. If you have not understood, no issues. By the time we solve these three values, you will definitely understand it. Now let us go ahead with third question. What is that third question? Third question is one tailed ten percent. One tailed ten percent. So I very well know that there will be only one tail. All the rejection is in one tail. And how much is that rejection or alpha? 10%. So this will be 10%. But remember, I am not interested in this. I am interested in how much is this? This will be 40%. Remember, this is 50%. So if this is 10, this has to be 40. 40% 40 or we can write it as 40% can also be written as 0 0.40. So... I go to my table and check what is the value of Z for 0 0.40. 0 0.40 are we looking? Here yeah, we see we have something that is just below 40. We have something that is above 40. So because I am not able to find exact 40, I will take the middle value or mean value. Here I found exact value, so I went with that value. Here I was stuck, so I took average. Here again I am stuck, so I will go with average value what average what is 0.3997 it is 1.2 1.28 1.28 and then this value becomes 1.29 so my z value would be average of these two z is equal to 1.28 plus 1.29 giving upon 2 giving me 1.28 5. Is that fine? I guess now you are getting a hold of it. Let us get on with our fourth question, which is two tailed, two tailed 10%. Two tailed 10%. Now, can you try this figure for your on your own? Two tailed. Yes, I have a figure with two rejection tails two tails and 10% two tails and 10% so our total rejection area is 10% but in one tail it will only be 
five percent total is ten percent rejection five and five ten but in one tail it will only be five percent this we can leave we are not concerned with this we are concerned only with this side now if this is 50 this is 5 then this is 45 percent or I can write it down as 45 upon 100 or other 0 0.45 let us go ahead and find value of z when we have 0 0.45 0 0.45 we just found out we were stuck between two values so we decided 1.64 and 1.65 average of those two z is equal to 1.64 and 1.65 and average of those 1.645 now i believe last one you can do on yourselves what is that it is one tailed and 2.5% you can pause the video over here, solve this for yourselves and then check if you have done it well. So one tail 2.5%. Let me go here. One tail rejection is in one tail. How much rejection? 2.5% giving me 47.5% or making it 0.47. So I go up and check what is the value of Z for 0.475. It is 1.96. 1.96. So my Z value comes as 1.96. This is how we go about finding Z values depending on whether we have a one-tailed problem or a two-tailed problem. When we meet next time, we'll solve certain questions on Z and T or learn some other tables. For now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.